The next part of the standard library is uh, this area here. It's uh, the module standard time, and this is used for things that have to do with time. And uh, there's there's also if you if you need uh, you know a lot uh, better you know a lot more functionality to do with uh, time. Uh, there's a crate called Chrono, uh, which I've never used, but uh, apparently that's the uh, you know the crate you want, or one of I think there's another one, but. Uh, uh, anyway, there are crates out there if uh, time is uh, doesn't have everything you need. But um, so anyway, uh, now we're looking at uh, time for the first time, and what are we going to look at? So we got uh, duration, instant, system time. So let's look at instant here, and you can see there's this uh, this thing called uh, now. So let now equals instant now. Uh, so let's uh, let's give this a try. Uh, see what it uh, see what it gives us. Um, so to bring it in, so we're just going to uh, experiment with this um, and see what we get. So uh, standard time instant, uh, bring that in, and then we'll go to function main. And by the way, let's uh, you can see uh, it implements debug, so uh, we can uh, we can make an instant instant now instant now, and then we can uh, you know, returns an instant corresponding to now, and we should be able to uh, to print this out. So let's see, let time equals instant now. And let's print it out and see what we get. <clears throat> and we get this instant. And we get these numbers that are not really, you know, it's not today's date. Uh, it's a whole bunch of weird numbers. And uh, that's because it is uh, <clears throat> what it says here opaque so it's uh, you, you know you can't uh, understand it uh, right away and useful only with duration so this is to um, it's like to take the uh, the time now and then uh, and then uh, subtract and uh, and uh, or see like how much time has gone past uh, you know duration meaning uh, the time that has passed uh, so um, and one other one other hint you can uh, you can have that uh, that you can see on the uh, on this uh, instant uh, uh, struct is that uh, there you go we have this uh, this trait here sub uh, duration sub instant so we can uh, subtract them um, so you can take uh, you know some time here and some time in the future and then uh, subtract uh, one from the uh, the previous time and get a, uh, a duration so uh, let's look at uh, the implementation there sub instant uh, and you can see, let's go to the source, and it says, okay, so we've we've implemented uh, add before, and it's basically the same as a sub, and you can see, okay, it gives us a duration, so you take a, you take a self instant, and you take another instant, and then you, it, it calls this thing called uh, self duration sense other, so we should be able to, uh, and you know, with sub, this means we get the uh, the subtraction mark. So we should be able to subtract one from uh, from another. So let's uh, let's make some more uh, instance instance now. Uh, we'll have uh, we'll have call this time one now. Uh, time two. That is also instant now. And so when the computer you know does this and then does this, this uh, this is actually you know nanoseconds. So the, uh, it's uh, it'll be really fast, but we'll still have like a few nanoseconds uh, going by uh, before it, uh, it it goes to the next uh, you know makes this uh, this next variable. So um, and then I'll, let's also um, you know let's you know make the, the the program a little bit busy for a while. So let's say uh, let's make this uh, new string out of nowhere. Actually, let's uh, first let's print this out. Um, we'll start with that, and we'll just see you know how many nanoseconds it is, and then we're going to do this thing where we make it uh, make it busy, and then see uh, you know what the difference is. Uh, so it's going to be time two minus time one, like that, and we have debug, so it should work. And there you go. So you can see that now it actually is giving us. Uh, uh, a real output, so it's uh, you know that's milliseconds or microseconds, I mean, and um, so let's make a uh, a third time. So let's say we'll make this string, and then we'll say uh, I don't know, for nothing in uh, zero to uh, 
hundred thousand, hundred thousand, and then we'll set new string. We'll push something onto it. What will we push onto it? Um, we're going to push on this Georgian letter because that's fun. And uh, so then we will do time two minus time one. And then after that, we'll do print line again and we'll do time three minus time one. And this should be uh, a lot longer. Time three. Oh. That time three equals instant now, of course. So we're going to finish doing all this stuff and then we're going to declare time three and we're going to subtract. And there you go. So uh, no, it's a lot, it uh, takes a lot longer, uh, 952 uh, nanoseconds compared to uh, 21 milliseconds. Um, and so, you know, this is, a, this is an easy way to see uh, uh, how long uh, things are taking. Um, you know, it's not, uh, it's not a proper uh, benchmark, but um, you know you can uh, you can see uh, how long things are taking, and uh, and of course you know do actual uh, you know like make uh, making a game, and you can have you know one one thing one event happens here, and one event happens here, and you can you can mark down this uh, instant now every time an event occurs, and you can put it inside, and then uh, use it later, uh, subtract one from another. So those are some, uh, that's some basics on uh, instant. And um, there's, a, there's something else that I like um, with instant that actually has kind of nothing to do with time, uh, but it's kind of fun. And I'm going to show you that in the next video.